Your boss didn't believe you when you said you were late because of a pet emergency. Your parents didn't believe you when you told them you had no idea where the scratch on the car had come from. Your friends know that you are lying every time you tell them that your work commitment does not allow you to attend their band's concert. Maybe it's because you're a lousy liar. Not that there is such a thing as a good liar, exactly, but there are definitely competent ones, and also times when a lie, or at least a half-truth, can save someone a lot of pain, like when a dominatrix hides her family's job. There are other times when a lie can be told when serving a greater good, such as when an undercover cop assumes a false identity to catch a paedophile. Regardless of morality, lies are something that almost everyone tells, although some have more experience in the art of deception than others. Don't get me wrong, I am not in favor of lying, what's more? I try never to lie, I only use lies when I want to leave a place, and the person who is with me is very persistent or when I don't feel like it, and I know that if I say that I don't feel like the other person will insist. There are times when people need to lie, and I don't mean precisely to get away with it, but to avoid hurting others and to avoid problematic situations. Contrary to what many people think, the lie is not always negative, there are many times that it is positive. Let's check out some tips to help you tell a lie more convincingly and professionally. 1. Your countenance and steadiness remains the same. If when you tell the truth, you are calm, you speak slowly, and you have your hands still, you will notice some changes when you tell a lie. It's either you scratch the back of your neck, avoid eye contact or slightly stutter. The truth is, many people do not know how to lie well. They tell you something, and you immediately get the impression of something not adding up. To avoid this, take the time to monitor your body language, tone, and voice volume. Pay maximum attention to your state, and ensure that it doesn't change when you lie and when you tell the truth. So the first most crucial aspect is to make sure that you don't change when you lie and tell the truth, that way, you are avoiding at the root the problem of getting caught. 2. Look at the eyes. As long as it doesn't look too fake or look like saying, I want to convince you, just look natural in the eye. There are lots of people who do not trust people who do not look in the eyes. You wouldn't blame them though, it is a curious fact, and it is mostly associated with telling genuineness from falsehood. Obviously, compulsive liars always look into the eyes when lying because they develop the skills to lie without being noticed. However, remember that the plan here is not to become a liar. Rather, you should only learn the weapons to lie in case that it is necessary to avoid problems for both you and others, absurd discussions, etc. 3. Nervousness sells you out. The easiest way to catch someone lying is when they get nervous. For example, a lying girlfriend might be one that shows a lot, like turning red and starts to laugh. Although this case is exaggerated, but people often reveal their lies nervously, and it is easy to detect them. They begin to eat their nails as if they were food, they begin to look both ways as unknowing, they begin to speak ultra-fast, etc. Every one of these expressions is simply selling you out as a liar. The important thing is that you do not show yourself nervous, an excellent way to avoid nervousness is by preparing the lie, and you can even rehearse it in the mirror and see yourself correct the defects that give you away as a liar. 4. Avoid being angry even when you're accused of a lie. The easiest way to catch a liar, especially a compulsive liar, is if he gets mad when you imply that he is lying or get caught. They tend to rage, deny it, and become victims. If you do any of this when you are caught lying, you are giving yourself away and also falling very low. When you lie, and you are caught, the most humble and noble thing is to admit it and explain the reason for your lie. If you lie without reason, you have it more complicated, but if you use this article in good faith, which is how we recommend it, it is best to admit the lie and explain why. 5. Vary your lies. Maybe, my grandmother is in the hospital, works for you once or twice, but over time the same lies end up generating mistrust, always. Think that if you always say that you are going to see your grandmother, then you are caught on the street with another friend, for example, they will assume that whenever you say that you go with your grandmother, you go with the friend, even when you do things differently. The best thing is to look for several white lies because if you get caught in just one, it will be assumed that you always tell that lie to get away from what you should actually do. Varying your lies covers your back in case you get caught red-handed and also gives you more credibility. If someone always asks you to go out there and you give him several excuses, he will end up not believing it. In cases like this, it is best to tell the truth, I just don't feel like going out, I'm busy, instead of looking for many excuses because you are going to look very bad and the other person will continue to insist on one, and another, and another, and again. You have to know how to lie and when not to lie. 
6. Learn to improvise. This would be a very positive thing if you train to polish up and culminate your ability to lie godly. If you do not know how to improvise, you will likely be easily caught when bombarded with questions. More importantly, you should also train to at least keep a good memory. At the point when you say different things to the same question each time, you get caught in the act as swiftly as possible. Rather, you have to believe the lie first to help you remember it since it will be stored in your mind as a semi-memory. That way, you can convincingly manipulate anyone with your lies. So now, you know, learn to improvise and remember your lies, and with these points, you are ready to understand how to lie with a very high efficiency in which you will very rarely be caught. Here we come to the end of this episode. You can publish your stories or read from other intelligent writers on our all-encompassing website, www.paxionual.com. Until you hear us again, bye.